So we left Seattle this morning, uh, spent a week in Seattle, and now we're kind of slowly making our way back across the country. Um, we're headed to my parents' house in Lynchburg, Virginia. Uh, it's going to take us two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. So these next few videos aren't going to be uh, just necessarily in one spot. We're going to be kind of making our way uh, back to the East Coast. We've loved our time on the West Coast, but it is drawing to an end. Um, as some of you know, I do work um, in the fall. Um, I work doing taxes in the spring, uh, kind of have the summers off, and in the fall, I help my aunt and uncle at the, uh, their corn maze and pumpkin patch to make a little extra money there. Um, and so we're heading back to the east. Uh, we're going to be back a little earlier than we had planned. We planned on going to Alaska, uh, but things just didn't work out. It's cost more money getting out here um, than we thought it was going to. Selling our house took longer. Just a lot of things um, kind of played out where we weren't able to go to Alaska. We're also we're going to go to Glacier, but when we knocked out Alaska, um, it just meant that we weren't able to do Glacier as well. So we are coming home maybe two weeks sooner than we thought, but we got some things planned in August when we're in um, back in Alabama um, to do. Um, we're going to go to the beach while we're there uh, which is what every good Alabamian does in the summertime is go to the Gulf um, but we're gonna do that we're gonna do some other stuff but we're gonna do a ton of things along the way um, home so our first stop we are at Lake Winnetachi State Park you can see our wonderful camper here we are an absolutely lovely campsite it is enormous now it was a little bit costly it cost us $53 um, for a state park which is really high um, but it's nestled here in the uh, kind of the south end south uh, east end of the Cascade National Park. Uh, it's not really in the National Park, but it's kind of in those Cascade Mountains, kind of to the southeast of it. So what we're going to check out tonight is Leavenworth. Um, I saw this a few years ago when we were trying to come out here. Leavenworth is a German village. Um, kind of a German looking village, Bavaria to be a specific uh, village here in Washington. And so I had seen it before when we were trying uh, to come out here a few years ago. Um, and I just have an affinity for Germany. Uh, in 2007, um, I went with Huntingdon uh, in the college that I went to. We took a trip to Germany for uh, 10 days. It was absolutely awesome. Um, it was a great time, loved being there, loved seeing everything. And so I have, uh, I do like towns that are German themed or, or German type things. Like at Epcot, they have the German uh, section. I love that. I love Helen, Georgia, which had a lot of German stuff um, and so this is a German looking village so we're gonna go check it out tonight um, so really our west coast is drawing to an end and we are moving our way back to the east coast over the next few videos um, hope you enjoy our time as we're gonna see a lot of things in a short amount of time Walked by it and there was so many people in line. What How get? can you not? We got, we got chocolate brownie thunder. Callie loves some ice cream. Is it yummy? Yummy. yummy. Callie, what is it? What is it? Ice cream. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> The only reason I'm on video right now is Sydney thinks that I, she's the only one that's ever on camera eating. So, I'm on camera eating. Here. But you haven't taken a bite yet. <laughs> Callie has no problem being on camera eating. <laughs> no. <laughs>
So today we are in Missoula, Montana. Uh, we left Leavenworth yesterday and had a really long drive to get here. Uh, took us what, eight hours? Eight and a half. Typically the way it works is if it says six to six and a half hours on the on like Google Maps or on GPS, it usually takes us two hours longer than that. Just we stop for lunch, we stop for dinner, uh, we put the slide out and make some meals or whatever. Um, just having to travel slower with Cali. Also, we don't drive as fast. Like out here, the speed limit's 80, and there's no way I'm taking my kid for 80 miles an hour. Uh, so we got here late yesterday evening. Uh, got set up for uh, in a pretty nice uh, park here. It's Jellystone RV Park. We've never stayed at one of these before. Um, it's really nice here in Missoula. So today's plans are um, we're going to go to Walmart. We I think we go to Walmart more than most people now that we are full time RV life because um, our fridge isn't very big. It's so like a third of the size. Yeah, it's probably a third of the size. So we end up going to Walmart every three or four days uh, and just buying meals and stuff for every three or four days. Uh, Sydney might can say more about that than me. That's about right. That's about right? Okay, well thanks for your wonderful input there. Um, so we have to go to Walmart often. Um, it's just so much cheaper to go to Walmart than it is to other places we've seen out here. So we're going to Walmart, get stocked up for the next few days. Uh, we're going to be, I probably haven't said much about this, but we're heading back towards Virginia now to see my parents for a few weeks. Um, and the way we're going is we left uh, Seattle, went up to Leavenworth, came over to Missoula, then we're going to go across uh, Montana, up to North Dakota, over to Minneapolis, Wisconsin and then drop kind of down towards Virginia that way. So it's going to take us about two weeks to get back. So the next few videos are going to be us traveling um, and some of the stops that we're going to see along the way. So we're trying to gear up for the next few days. My mom is coming back in town uh, in four or five days. So our goal is to get us enough groceries till we get till then. Um, and then we'll restock once uh, she gets in town with us. So today we're going to go to Walmart. I know that's a big adventure there. And then later today we're going to the Bison Range, which is uh, a large, um, I guess it's like a refuge area where there's a lot of bison and elk and deer and that kind of stuff and Callie loves that so we're gonna try to go this evening and hopefully check out some of that. Um, we contemplated driving to Glacier which is like two hours from here but decided against it because the weather is going to be bad there. It's actually snowing on some of those peaks that you're driving through there. So we're not going to do that. We're going to kind of settle and go uh, to the bison range this afternoon and check it out. All right, so we just got back from Walmart, and I wanted to bring up something. Um, they had Rainier cherries, which are these little guys. They look different than normal cherries. Um, we were in the farmer's market section of Pike Place uh, Market um, when we were in Seattle, and this guy like flagged us down to try these cherries. Um, they look different. They have like an orangey, whitish color to them versus the dark red of normal cherries. Um, and so we tried them, and they were incredible. He wanted, it was like $8 a pound for these cherries, and I wasn't about to pay $8 a pound for any kind of fruit. Uh, I mean, just kind of give you a context of what normal fruits are. Um, an apple is usually a dollar to a dollar fifty a pound, um, and then talking about eight dollars a pound for cherries would just be crazy. I think strawberries are around a dollar a pound as well. So we're talking eight times as much as normal fruit. So I was out on that. However, I've been—they were just so incredible, and they've been on my mind since then about how good this cherry was. And I've seen them around. They only have them in this area. Sydney looked them up. Um, they're called Rainier cherries. They only have them kind of growing in Washington um, and in this this kind of general area. We're in Missoula now, but I guess that's close enough. Um, for them to have them. So we're in Walmart today and they had these cherries. They were still $6 a pound, but having, oh, I'm sorry, they were $4 a pound, my bad. But having um, had them on my mind for the last week and a half or two weeks, I had to get some. So these cherries, um, there's my bag of them there, but they have uh, this orangey peach color, but they taste more like peaches and they taste like cherries. They had kind of like a little bit of cherry taste, but they taste like a peach and they are absolutely incredible. The whole family has been loving these peaches. So we might have to get some more before we go, um, Callie but Callie loves these peaches. They have a pit in the middle of them, so I have to be careful. Most cherries have a pit in the middle. Oh, do they? Yeah, the fucking thing. I've never had a regular oh, cherry. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a real cherry, so I don't know. Yeah, well, they are absolutely incredible. If you're in this area, I think they only grow a certain time of year, too. Yeah, I don't think you can. July, June August. and July. So we kind of hit that perfect. But these are absolutely incredible cherries. Mm. All right, so after we did our Walmart shopping today and got prepared for the next few days, uh, took a nap as well. Um, we decided to come out to the National Bison Range, which is about 30 minutes north of Missoula. Um, I had found this place on the map uh, just several years ago when we were planning a Montana trip. Um, looked really cool. It's kind of a national uh, refuge kind of place. And if you can see behind me right 
there is a massive elk. Um, he's got his antlers on, there's a lot of felt on him. He's just grazing behind us. We are literally at the gate of this place and there's this massive elk, the biggest one we've seen easily on our trip so far. Um, so we're gonna go check out the rest of this place. There's supposed to be some bison out here, uh, more elk and white-tailed deer, mule deer. Um, so we're gonna check it out. Callie's already loving it, saying elk, elk, over and over. Um, but we're gonna check this place out and see if we can see more really cool wildlife like this guy right here. <laughs> Oh, uh, elk. What uh, is it? Uh, elk. Can you say bison? Bison. No, say bison. 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 Is it a bison? Bison. You like it? That was so awesome. Animal wise, that is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yellowstone was close to it, but we saw everything that we saw in Yellowstone here, except for we saw wolves, when, a wolf when we went to Yellowstone. That was so awesome. Um, I loved it. Callie loved it for sure. The first uh, animal we saw when we pulled in was an elk, and it was an eight-point elk, and it was so big. So we let her out of her car seat, and she was standing at the window, and she was yelling at it, saying, hey, and then she went and got her sippy cup and was giving the elk some of her milk, and then she went and got her book and started to, sh she wanted to share her book with the elk. And then she went and got her rocks that she's been collecting and she was throwing her rocks out the window. She wasn't hitting the elk with the rocks, but she was giving her ro her rocks to the elk. It was so funny. And then when she saw the bison, she started yelling at it and she calls it bice. She would say, bice, bice. And then when we started leaving, she said, bye, love you, yelling at it. She was having so much fun. And every time we'd see one, she'd say, more, more. She'd want to see more. Um, we have been so torn because we really wanted to take her to Yellowstone this trip and we just weren't going to be able to make it there this year. Me and Jeremy have been before and we absolutely loved it. Yeah, just time wise it wasn't going to work. We've, as I mentioned, we've altered our trip where we're not going to Glacier and Banff this year. So we looked at Yellowstone, but Yellowstone books out so much in advance that there was nothing, there was nowhere for us to go. So we're going to make a trip back there and this is kind of like a little Yellowstone. There's no geothermic activity at all, but 
as far as animal wise, I mean, that's we saw... why we wanted to bring her to Yellowstone. Is just animal wise because she loves animals, and that I mean, we wanted to bring her to see the animals, and we just saw everything that we would have seen in. Yeah, I mean, we saw a grizzly, we saw elk, we saw a bison, we saw mule deer, we saw uh, like a white-tailed deer. We saw just, I mean, it was awesome. We saw everything we would have seen. So I'm glad we made this. It's about 30 minutes or so north of Missoula. Um, it's definitely worth a trip over yeah. here if you're in the area. Um, and then it was even, it was kind of rainy and overcast, and we saw the wonderful rainbow out there with the bison yeah, on it. Um, I so hope those pretty. pictures turned out great. Uh, you'll get to see them, but um, I hope they turned out absolutely incredible. So if you're in this area, the National Bison Range is something you definitely have to check out. Definitely. Definitely.